Okay guys, um welcome back to Valkyrie FX Academy. Right, um <clears throat> okay. Today is Tuesday, second day of the month, second November. Okay. If you guys can notice, uh, if you guys know this right, um Euro European US dollar, Euro USD, we made this uh, stock hunt to the upside, okay, taking out all the buy side liquidity. Kita punya trading dah sell lah, kita ambil daripada Kita akan target area ni So, first thing first, when you guys open your chart Try to identify all this buy side liquidity dengan sell side liquidity Okay, ini adalah korang punya pintu eh, pintu untuk korang trading Tak ada pintu ni, okay, jangan trade Okay, dulu masa before aku start trading liquidity ni Aku just random lah, aku pakai apa lagi tu, supply demand okay. So, if you guys tengok, sini supply demand Okay, kan ni supply kan So, bayangkan korang punya price masa tu kat sini Sekali korang nak enter, korang nak enter sini kan Bila korang enter situ, tu nak buat, dia tembus Dia tembus, dia patah balik lagi So, itu masalah supply demand Tapi, bila korang dah ada If you guys have this uh, idea about liquidity uh, You guys can identify where price wants to Uh, deliver uh, macam ni for example here when you have 3 uh, equal high 1, 2, 3 1, 2, 3 3 similar uh, so called resistance ok price will always do this they will manipulate uh, whoever yang those who has my those who have my ebook uh, we have covered this in the AMD if you guys notice uh, 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 accumulation manipulation and distribution this thing happens every single day every single month every single minute so they will accumulate they will manipulate then they will distribute so expect this to happen every time frame okay but it cannot happen randomly then there must be a reason why it accumulates and it manipulates and distribute so for it to accumulate masa dia tengah sideways kat sini korang kena identify where is your buy side liquidity and where is your sell side liquidity The idea is once it targets the the buy side liquidity or the sell side liquidity, once they dah pecah, okay, cari point of interest. This is my point of interest. Okay, point of interest. So when it got into your uh, point of interest in the lower time frame here, okay, you can identify um, structural behavior. So what do I mean by structural behavior? Go to your lower time frame, for example 15 minutes lah eh. So we go to your 15 minutes Okay, here When this thing is in your POI I like to do something like um, I like to see price do this For example, it go here, it go here, it go here, it go here I like to see when price do, does that Okay, I like to see this But sometimes guys, we cannot see it in the 15 minutes we can try to see in the lower time frame uh, but the idea is we want to we, we want to see uh, they call it as structure structure shift okay we want to see this okay, let me just change the color first uh, okay. okay so i want to see this i want to see the last demand which is here okay This is the demand, right? Okay, price demand really, really. And once the the demand fails, okay, when it fails, once it fails, this candle, this candle down, okay, this is your change of character, meaning the price uh, has decided that this area has no longer, uh, meaning the price has decided to go down, lah. Okay, this is the change of character. When you see a change of character. Your idea is to buy, eh, sorry, to sell the market within this region. So this is your selling zone. This whole thing, when this uh, candle move down, eh, this whole thing is your selling region. You get into your sell region, you sell. Kalau kat sini pun, I will sell. Okay, that's the idea. But you want to see this thing to happen, this structure behavior. It break down, you break out macam ni, korang, dia patah balik, korang balon. Balon je, okay. When you balance here, this is M15 then. If you see in M5, I believe ah M5 would, would be uh, very clear there. Nampak sangat guys. Guys, kat sini pun, kalau korang nak lagi sharp ah, 
Sini korang nampak aku tak Kan aku cakap ni pasal the The three move yang aku suka tengok tu Satu, dua, tiga, pak Kan Listing kan Okay Sama tak kat sini guys Sama tak dekat yang M5 ni Ni nampak ni nampak ni nampak ni Okay Korang ada Korang ada Korang ada bila ni Nampak You have this Tariklah bawah kiri korang nampak Alamak senang je Kan Korang You have your You have your Ni Ah, bahu kiri ok korang ada kepala kat sini ok Kepa uh, dia set up kan takkan takkan jadi kalau uh, bahu kiri ada kepala kepala ni this move down ok dia kena consume this area nampak dia kena consume this demand ok ini kalau betul-betul siapa yang betul-betul nak mata dia tajam lah kena tengok benda ni ok dia ada BMS kat sini break of market structure You can see there Nampak tak? Okay uh, Bahu kiri kepala Kepala uh, break the bahu uh, The BMS Kat sini nampak Demand Break Demand break Return balik Ah uh, Sini Korang nak paku Paku Lot Aisina ke Benda paku lah Paku secukup-cukup ni kat sini ha. Benda ni akan berlaku Every single time frame Korang kena rajin tukar time frame So bila dia, dia dah masuk kat korang punya PUI Korang cari benda ni je Sini pun ada juga Nampak? Satu Dua Tiga Ok, kau tengok je Benda ni every single day guys Every single minute Alamak, aku kalau tengok benda ni Dah jadi macam muak tau Dia, it happens all the time And uh, Kalau korang tak boleh nak nampak benda ni juga Aku tak tahu lah So, tak eh, BMS Aduh Ok, dah nampak dah Sini, nampak satu Dua, kepala dia Tinggi daripada sini Tapi, yang ni Dia break, dia break bawah Ok, dia kena break bawah So, korang pun entry kat sini Anywhere here Dia masuk sini yang jadi Selagi dia tak pecahkan kepala ni Korang balun lah Balun, 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 balun Sini pun balun enggak Nampak? Sini dia buat pattern sama kat sini Sini pun dia bagi re-entry Ya Allah M M5 lah guys Kalau M1 lagi lah korang nampak Okay So, benda ni Kena rajin tukar-tukar time frame And kena tajamkan mata korang untuk spot benda ni Nampak tak? 1, 2, 3 1, 2, 3 Benda ni every single time frame And in your Especially kalau kat dalam POI korang tapi korang jangan nak buat Jangan nak masuk dekat area random Macam kat sini kan Sini dia buat kan Satu, dua, tiga dia buat kan ah, Jangan nak masuk sini Ini ini boleh masuk Kalau korang jenis yang uh, Macam jenis tak tak jaga lot Macam tak nak Macam tak tahu lah Macam nak tak sign duit kan Tak sign duit boleh lah kat sini Kalau korang nak masuk Tapi sebab Benda ni pun ada juga ha, Nampak Boleh juga sini Tapi jangan nak masuk sini Sini tak ada It's not in your uh, Point of interest ini nak masuk boleh tapi kadang-kadang perang boleh je tembus balik masuk balik kat korang punya uh, zone yang nak masuk ni so the idea is cari benda ni kat dalam korang punya POI once ada dalam POI settle guys korang nak nak balon ke nak you know nak masuk macam-macam boleh lah tak kisah lah kat sini as long as it's in your POI ok uh, ok right so sekarang ni kat sini you can see here ok uh, last week I think we made a uh, analysis on this uh, I send it to the group Kita ada buat stock hunt, kita ada break of market structure Same thing lah, benda sama Tapi ni kat uh, 4 hours, ni kan kita ada kita bawah kiri Kita punya kepala Okay, kepala ni buat apa? Kepala ni break structure, nampak? Dia break ni, break structure ni Ni, ni kepala break structure Dia masuk balik area yang korang tanda ni Okay Ni korang dah tanda kan? Ni bawah kiri kan? Bawah kiri korang kan? Bawah kiri kan? Okay, kita tanda bawah kiri Ambil dia bawah kiri ni Buat sebaris Dia masuk area korang punya bawah kiri ni Korang buat apa? Korang paku Ataupun balon Ataupun Entah apa pun lah Tim korang nak guna Tapi Once dia masuk area ni I want to see In a lower time frame Benda lah tu berlaku ke tak Okay tak cari jom kita tengok Kat sini eh Kuru pula kan Okay jom Tengok dekat uh, M15 lah Okay So dekat M15 dia buat lah Okay M15 Haa Nampak Macam dia buat apa guys Alamak This is too easy man Ni apa Okay M15 kau tak nampak Tapi aku rasa Kalau kau tengok M5 Lagi jelas Aduh Senang sangat ni Ni apa benda ni Ni dia buat Bawa kiri Okay Dia ada bawa kiri Korang pun Mark lah Area bawa kiri korang Okay Dia buat kepala Ya Allah Kepala dia buat apa? Kepala dia break Structure ni Structure ni Supply Supply ni Kena pecah 
ok, format BMS bila supply kena pecah, korang mark BMS which is break of market structure so korang standby je kat area bawah kiri ni korang ha. standby lah, dia masuk lah bawah kiri ya Allah ya Rabbi touch, eh tak sharp entry ke tu aku tak tahu lah nak cakap apa guys buat benda lah ni ok, bawah kiri buat kepala, kepala break market structure which is your last supply to the downside dia break price nak buat apa suka dia kita tak nak masuk kat sini kita tunggu dia masuk balik kat punya bahu kiri ok bahu kiri ni tempat korang boleh nak entry nak entry paku ke apa benda kat sini guys ok bila dia masuk je kat sini kita tengok price ah, alamak dia bagi sekali lagi entry baik betul ok ha, dia bagi sekali dia masuk sekali lagi dia bagi sekali lagi korang masuk lah ha, ha, ni masuk eh aku tak tahu lah tak senang sangat aku rex it's too easy guys but you need to be patient some some people they just want to enter ok dia dah nampak setup ni alamak price kat sini aku malas lah aku malas nak tunggu price masuk aku enter kat sini boleh bukan tak boleh tapi masalah ni bila korang masuk kat sini korang punya risk dah besar tau aku suka masuk betul-betul kat shoulder aku left shoulder when you have your left shoulder you have your right shoulder trust me ok God created everyone equally kalau ada if you have your left shoulder you have your right shoulder ok Allah itu maha adil Okay, kalau dia ada bau kiri, dia ada bau kanan okay, bila dia masuk kepada bau kanan, korang buat apa? korang paku, bila korang paku, dia buat apa guys? aku nak tengok lah kita punya ni berapa risk dia katalah aku target di sini kata kan, aku nak buat situ stop loss aku bawah bawah sini, ha, bawah sini, ok kata, sini eh korang dapat 59p tau korang risk berapa je? 6.72p Allah, Allah, Allah. tak hit tipi tu Alamak, kan HDP Aduh Too easy lah guys Okay, so I hope This video will bring you guys um, Clearance Oh bukan clearance lah, macam Something that opens your eyes lah Because in forex right It's not about Tekan-tekan, it's not about lah like, Bila nak masuk, bila nak masuk, money entry, money and value Money yang tak terlalu tak guys You have to see Okay, tak ada benda ni There's no SOP Do not entry Once you have your SOP Once these two things ha happen Okay, just wait lah Kalau korang malas nak tunggu dia nak masuk Korang panic order Just put by limit dia Okay, bila put by limit dia Kan dia masuk Kan dia sentuh dua kali Kan dia Eh, hey, aku tak tahu lah Apa, apa yang orang susah sangat correct ni Kan Sounds like aku macam It sounded like I'm very arrogant cuma But really guys I've been telling myself all the time Dulu kenapa aku tak nampak benda ni awal-awal If I can just rewind back the time Aku akan belajar benda ni tu Before aku trade real account Okay by the way Those yang um, baru 6 uh, months trading You know like 3 months trading Do not open real account Okay I repeat do not open real account Just trade demo Okay once korang dah buat consistent profit in your demo You can uh, Okay I have a challenge for you okay Korang buat $25 account Buka 4 account Okay demo tau Not real demo Okay $25 uh, uh, Per 1 account Do 4 accounts This is demo You try to get You, you try to grow This $25 account $100 for each account Which means At the end of the day Korang akan dapat $400 Okay that is 400% Grow this 4 accounts To 400% Ah, uh, so 25 jadi 100 satu account settle jangan sentuh account tu buka uh, then go to your second account $25 to 100 until you reach the fourth account which means korang punya deposit is only 100 at the end of the day you get 400 if you guys manage to do that in this uh, period of time what satu kali dua kali tiga kali ok then you have my clearance to trade real account if if selagi korang tak boleh buat benda tu tak boleh create a uh, tak boleh buat 400 with 100 do not open real account guys ok so I hope this uh, sharing is uh, uh, apa bermanfaat korang boleh share video ni dengan sesiapa lah aku tak kisah lah sebab for me um, it's not about aku nak duit ke aku nak commission ke apa no I don't get any commission guys I don't do this for money uh, because if aku nak buat duit aku boleh charge for classes semua kan but I don't I don't want to do that because aku pernah bayar orang 20-20 ribu but <laughs> Uh, at the end of the day, aku belajar daripada YouTube So, if you guys rajin, korang boleh belajar kat YouTube je But for me here, aku nak share je dengan korang Like, what I wish I knew When I first started trading So, yeah, that's it So, that's it about for me today uh, Aku, I wish you guys uh,
good trading uh, insyaAllah semua orang boleh succeed in trading um, and hopefully in future we we can collaborate lah ok siapa yang tahu mission who, whoever that knows my mission they know what I want to do in this uh, trading uh, industry ok so that's all for me Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh see you guys in the next one